In this video, we will be discussing about the nucleotide excision rapier in prokaryotes. This is a type of DNA rapier mechanism which fixes DNA damage induced by the ultraviolet exposure. This rapier removes pyrimidine dimers, especially the thymidine dimers. We see in prokaryotes we have the UVR system of NER, while we have the UVR ABC exonuclease complex which fixes the damage. First of all, let's see the enzymes or proteins taking part in it. First, we have the UVRA, which shows ATPase GTPase activity and recruits the UVRB protein to the DNA. And this UVRA has great affinity for the damaged site within the DNA. Second is the UVRB. It clamps DNA strand and moves on the DNA strand to detect the damage or distortion. And this UVRB also recruits the UVRC. Third protein, which is the UVRC, it shows dual incision activity. It cleaves the phosphodiester bond on strand for nucleotides downstream of DNA damage, and simultaneously it cleaves phosphodiester bond eight nucleotides upstream of the DNA damage. The upstream means towards the five prime end, and downstream means towards the three prime end. The fourth protein is the UERD, which is helicase 2. It removes the excised segment by removing the base pairing. And then we have the DNA polymerase 1 and DNA ligase enzyme. The DNA polymerase 1 synthesizes the excised part of DNA and ligase ligates the newly synthesized segment within the strand. Now let's get to the mechanism of nucleotide excision rapier. Here in this diagram we have the DNA molecule. When it's exposed to UV light, we get the formation of thymidine dimers as shown in the diagram, which is termed as pyrimidine dimer. The defect or we can say point lesion is formed of thymine thymine cyclobutane pyrimidine dimer. We see we have the two thymidine molecules present on the same DNA strand linked by covalent bond after the UV exposure. Now we need to fix this DNA damage. And in prokaryotes, we have pathway that's nucleotide excision rapier. First of all, we see we have two dimer proteins that's UVRA dimer and UVRB dimer as shown in the diagram. The UVRA has higher affinity for damaged DNA and UVRB shows no affinity at all. So it's by the help of UVRA protein which recruits the UVRB towards the DNA. Here in this animation, we can see in presence of ATP molecule, the UVRA dimer and UVRB dimer forms a complex. And then this complex binds with the DNA molecule. After that, the UVRB clamps with the DNA and starts moving on the DNA and finds the damage or distortion. When this UVRA UVRB complex finds the damage or distortion, the UVRA dimer leaves. Now we have only UVRB on the DNA. Then this UVRB recruits the UVRC, which has dual incision activity on the DNA strand. This UVRB and UVRC complex is termed as ABC exonuclease, A in the brackets. Although UVRA is absent here, but still it's termed as ABC exonuclease because UVRA has initial activity in this process. Now this UVRC molecule as shown in the diagram cleaves a phosphodiester bond for nucleotides downstream of the DNA damage that stores the 3' end and simultaneously cleaves a phosphodiester bond 8 nucleotides upstream of the DNA damage that stores the 5' end and creates a 12 nucleotide excised segment as shown in the diagram and in that time UVRC leaves but the excised segment is still there because of the base pairing between the nucleotides. So to remove the base pairing, we have the UVRD, aka DNA helicase 2, which comes in and removes the base pairing, and the excised segment is removed. Now we have to synthesize the new segment here, and for this we have DNA polymerase 1, which comes in and synthesizes the excised segment as shown in the diagram. And finally the DNA ligase ligates the segment with the old strand, thus completing the rapier process. And from these orderly events, we get the DNA rapier. So this is how nucleotide excision rapier works within the prokaryotes. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.